Hold on, wait. What is your you problem? Missed... No, here, right? Hey, go. Yeah, this there you go. Happen... This will happen when you late. Is it? Yeah, math drip, drip math. Yeah, nice to meet you. I can't. I, I couldn't help it today. Okay, because you're normally on time, right? You're normally here. Normally, I'm me. on time. I'm on point. Until today, you were late. It's all good though. It's all Thank good. You were, you were working. I know. Um. Yeah, man. They, they, <laughs> they, 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 they got the, a nigga in the headlock, man. That you did that, Mitch. You did that to yourself. I mean, you're the one who said we about to put out more merch, fam. We got on MLK Day. We got guests too. We'll get we'll get to everything in a minute. But did you we know, start? I, it's. I mean, it said it was live. No, I wasn't. Li- Hold on. <laughs> Never mind. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm, uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. I know the, the the people have been excited to see that the the, the merch is finally moving. All man, the- fuck them people. Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> you said that I did not. I did not no, say ain't that. How, ain't that how GQ was wearing the hoodie and Jew show when they was Ray robbed them niggas when they yes, ran down on old yeah, man yeah. Yeah. He put the mask. He put the mask on. Yeah, you should you keep you off, man. He had to sit up there and shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> but nah, it's 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 a good thing, you know what I'm saying? He my man fucked up the one, but we we'll be all right. We we'll, we'll get that back. So we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Let me get yeah. as long as the people gets what they need. Pack the the people, air, man. The pack. There you go. He got got lick it at night. I'm sorry. He got yeah, crying that's, that's in two thing. days. That's a good oh, thing. So got the corona. Ice yeah, cold. Bro. Shout, out to, shout out to shout out all the Puerto Ricans and Cal. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a shot. Me, me and Damian oh. Priest. What up? Outstanding. Greetings, oh, <laughs> <laughs> wrestling fans, and welcome to another action-packed car of all-star wrestling. This is going to be a fun episode. I can feel it. I don't know. I don't know if everybody's ready for the fun, but it'll be a good time. Uh, niggas is back, and niggas is black. As always, it's the Black Wrestling Podcast, giving y'all life from a wrestling perspective. As always, it's your boy Cal, represent RockTheDub.com. But you already knew that my brothers are on the line. Fam, math, say what's good to the people, yo. You're Ill fam 79, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> on your social media choice, aka brother fam. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That was no the best way. one. That that was the best one. That was the best one. Well done. Shit. You're, you're welcome. You're welcome, by the way. <laughs> salute, <laughs> salute, salute. Uh, uh, That's a good one. We got BRP on that free shit. That OG shit, cause it feel good when everybody look decent. At Math Damon, I like that merch making Mitch in the building. Um, we got a couple of special guests. I uh, I, this has been. I, I feel like this is something that you know is bound to happen at some point, based off of who we are and what we all talk about. Um, we got the Corner Podcast on this week. Andreas Hell, Kel Dansby. They're the brothers that put together wrestling with stereotypes. Shit, they just had rich homie juice on. I saw yes, sir. Crazy. I rich, saw that nigga, rich homie juice put a nigga through somebody grandmama coffee table. <laughs> <laughs> and that ain't even in the match. That's <laughs> you know, that's it's just a thing that happened. Hey, the coffee table had that that um that the, that that, that, that mint that one the thing of mints that stick together, it's all one piece of hard candy. <laughs> No, nah, you I want some hard candy? You pull the whole out. It's the whole thing. Get a hammer and a chisel to get some sweets. Yeah, I feel you. Um, not nah. right? fine. Put it back in. There. Don't worry about the rotor. It's crazy though because these two brothers have been doing a lot of amazing work, and I feel like they've been. You know, we were talking before. The grind's been going on for a while. I think I remember seeing Andreas years ago, years working ago? on uh, uh years ago working at uh hip-hop dx flex and uh now man's is like 
he people thought I was cool because I talked to Bianca Belair, but I'm reading his interview from like three, four weeks before to make sure I'm not uh you know re asking anything that's already been out there. But uh Andreas and Cal, thank you for coming through. Appreciate having y'all on Black Rassin this week. No doubt. Yo, he always sounds so much cooler than me. Every <laughs> intro we get, like, I love it. Every time like someone mentions Drake, <laughs> all his achievements are so long. Oh, they be true. like, yo, Kel, what up? So it's all it's, 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 it's no disrespect. <laughs> it's yo, no disrespect. Shout out to, uh, shout out to my years. nigga Kel. My nigga Kel was, was, was in the child line. I seen him chop a couple niggas, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he was running niggas for the jello. All of that Stupid. shit, you know what I mean? We had the rec room on smack. Is that better? Yeah, it's better. I appreciate it. Right Look at that. Yo, yo, yo FYI, that's the intro. I tell you what, though, this feel like I know we I know it's fuck Hulk Hogan all day, but it feels nice. like this this podcast right here is like the the handshake with Hogan and Savage, but you just cross Facts. Hogan out, and turn him black because look, <laughs> yeah, man, nah, for real, for it, real. They ended up, you know this. There ain't enough black folks in this space, man, that that can competently <laughs> talk about some pro wrestling that really care about this culture, Facts. and I love what y'all doing. And I spend money. I got my Nation of Domination joint up in there. And I, I will say, Andreas is one of the first people on Twitter. Like, yo. <laughs> got mines, got yeah, mines yeah. early. I spent that bread. That was the easiest money I had to spend. My wife was like, "You wanted something else?" I said, "God damn right, I did." I'm like, yeah, <laughs> right, here. I was right before she put you out. I hear yo, every click. Yo, every click online is like, "Is this worth the argument?" Ah, today, <laughs> every day. Yo, they, 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 I appreciate what y'all doing, man. So being on this, getting a chance to sit in and do this. I mean, we can't do nothing at WrestleMania, obviously, because of Rona and all that shit, but. The fact that we can sit here and chop it up, facts. There's some, some straight up mega black power shit right here. <sighs> Represent. Repre yeah. That was the best promo I've heard on this podcast <laughs> in a minute. In a minute. Um, before we get into anything, though, uh, I actually feel kind of bad because there was um, late last week it was announced that uh, Butch Reed had passed away. We it, the situation kind of changed though. I don't know if people have seen like initially. There was talk that he had had a couple of heart attacks that was posted on their IG. And I think um, Friday when the news came out of his passing, it mentioned uh, he had had heart complications. But then I saw something saying that someone else in his family said that he caught COVID in like in the middle of January. And they're thinking that's what happened. Wow. I don't know, man. 66 is crazy, but I mean, that was a, it's a whole legend right there. Fact. 66 is crazy for regular people. I hate to say it, but 66, and maybe it's just, you know, me being jaded, but 66 no longer is crazy for wrestlers for me. Uh, you always hear wrestling. Oh, such such got took out. How old was it? 54. God, 54, God. yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now that's that's a whole life in wrestling years, but you know we we don't have those people in wrestling. Those heroes that are 55, 60, 70. Like there's not too many black Ric Flairs. Like, mm -hmm. like we have to hold on to those people. So when one passes, like it hits hard. Like I'm listen, I nothing but the best health to this man. I'm going to be a wreck the day I got to see Ron Simmons go. Like yo, we don't, we don't have we were those just, heroes. We, like, man, we just watched the um the uh him and him and Bradshaw the uh, WWE joint that dropped last mm -hmm. week, the Chronicle, whatever it was. I can't remember what it was yeah, called. Yeah, yeah. But yo, we were sitting there like, nah, Ron. I mean, with the exception of his headline, which he's been <laughs> with for a couple years. Um, you know what I mean? But Ron looked like in good shape for a pro wrestler and and, and my, my 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 wife miss fan was like yo black don't crack i was like yeah nah and he Word. like he, he taking care of his money they say cheap but that mean taking care of his money had there the little low on i was like okay ron i see you son <laughs> <laughs> jesus christ i still gotta check that it it, it it's just a, a a jbl and ron simmons thing wwe untold the apa yeah. yeah, I gotta watch. I gotta watch. They've been doing yeah. well. The uh, the Yoko Zuna, I finally got a chance to really sit with that doc the oh, other day, and that shit is really dope. That was I had to cool. drink watching that. Well, you know, the only part is they told lies in there, though. Really? All right. I, I, me and Kel just talked about this. 
So you remember Yoko beat Brett Hogan beat Yoko, right? Now right. in that uh in that I icon they said they went on tour and Yoko and Hogan wrestled. That shit didn't happen, bro. Nah, nah. And the funny part is Bruce Mitchell in the documentary is the one who said it, but Bruce Mitchell is the one who said it on something to wrestle with with Conrad that they did it and they never toured together. That, that those matches See. didn't happen. What was Hulk, what was Hogan do? Drip, can you figure look up what Hogan was doing around that WrestleMania? Was that nine? Yeah, it was very WrestleMania yeah. nine. Yeah, then they went yeah. overseas. Was that Bubba the Love Sponge wife? Was he doing that's is that what he was doing? <laughs> I'm trying <laughs> to figure out it. At some point he because he was he was trying to be Hollywood for a quick second and uh Thunder in Paradise looking ass, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> and and he, he did he did mention yeah. that in the doc yeah. too. So I'm wondering if he he might not have even touched the ring for a minute until Ted Turner said, you know, come over to WCW or whatever. Bro, it's, um WWE okay. documentaries are really good. Like they're really entertaining, but we just gotta remember what lens they're being told from, right? Like they're only gonna they're only gonna bite their own hand a couple times and then you gotta do your own research and be like, oh, that's some bullshit. But Facts. It's still nah. it's still entertaining, you know. I can't front like, I mean, it's still gonna it's always gonna be fucked up that Yoka was a Samoan playing an Asian to get over right. when they won't right. put over other Asians in the company. It's crazy. Right. Yo, they, they they tried to gloss that over too. They tried they tried to be like, oh yeah, Yokozuna just means the biggest sumo wrestler. It's like that's cool, but he he wasn't Japanese. Like y'all <laughs> forgot the rest of the shit that y'all yeah, put on that character. Yo, everybody white called the nigga Yoko. Everybody non-white was like Rodney. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, had to, they had the Godfather on the Godfather. Like, yeah, but nigga Rodney was out here, man. Was out here, man. Dominoes, that nigga said big six on the board. That's crazy. Nah, that's dope. It, it was, but they, they do do good jobs on that stuff. It'll be interesting to see. Because they've got a couple of things that they had announced. Some stuff with biography. Um, was it the biography or AMC, something like that? They were going to do some documentaries, bio style things. So who knows? Or, and I think they're also, they said they were going to do one annual, um, like full body feature for, uh, for, for Peacock a year. Yeah. I think uh, that's, that's part of the deal. The Vince joint supposed to go to Netflix next year or well, that, I guess this year, who like this year? summer. Is like that the, the ringer? Or, yeah, Bill Simmons like is doing that. Part. Yeah, Vince McMahon one. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. There was a couple he, trials in the nineties. Is he I'm involved in that? If they talk about, yeah, I think Vince McMahon is involved in that. Yeah, Vince is involved. They have this to is, the footage and all the rights. Bro, this is the equivalent of the Last Dance of Vince McMahon, where Vince right. is going to tell his right. own yeah. goddamn Final story. Cut, baby. So, no, so all, that, all that Ico Pro shit and all that steroids, like that shit out the window. Sucks. Vince ain't had nothing to do with it. So it, it again, it's going to be entertaining, but we got to know the lens that shit's coming through. Facts. Yo, it's Wait. funny because was Greg always says, Greg always complains about, uh, shout out to that guy, Greg, always mm. complains about not watching Dark Side of the Ring because they aren't factually... Correct. I'm like, nigga, neither is what no, yeah, really right. was getting on the network. Right. I think Drip uh, got the stat for what Hogan was doing um during that time. Well, around that time again, the trial, the Zahorian trial was before mm. WrestleMania 9. So that's why the whole they take the belt off Hogan, Bret Hart becomes Bret Hart essentially because that but he was also doing dates in New Japan. What I was listening to recently said that at that time Hogan was doing that thing where he was trying to big lead WWF by saying the new Japan IWGP heavyweight title is more prestigious. It was a real title. Yeah. yeah. That what he was getting paid more over there to do limited dates. So essentially he was talking cash shit about that belt too. Time time between, yeah. He was like going up. And I mean, we all know who he is and what, what happened, but yeah, he was in new Japan right after beating Yoko. He went there as WWF champion. Right. He had the, he had the winged yeah. eagle and everything. Yeah. I shout yeah. out to Bret Hart, yo. Bret Hart kept it real in the dock. Bret Hart was like, nah, the hell Facts. out of here. We're holding it. Facts. I like yeah. that. I like My that energy, Kel. Yeah, right? Right? <laughs> shout, out, shout out to Drip from the Perp Plus section of the park. <laughs> <laughs> it's a goddamn shame. Um, we, uh, I don't, I don't, I, I watched Raw and I don't really remember a lot about Raw. Aside from the only thing people were talking about, which was uh, Nia Jax talking about her hole. But I got a question. I got a question. I got a question. 
<laughs> because like the, the the way it we were talking about this that night, the way that the series of events happened, that it was it was a part of the finish to that match. Something happened to her, she got injured. Do you guys think that she was like maybe I should scream my hole and they were like cool or or did she just did she just work my hole into into this she the, worked her, the finish she worked my what what happened what she time? worked her hole I'm sorry oh all right her hole <laughs> I uh, my you. my hole what she um geez. this nigga is wow <laughs> <I'm, laughs> <laughs> no, because they said they censored it. I think if you go Yo. to the YouTube, it's Cal and Cal's brother. Look, <laughs> <laughs> that's my brother. We got to fight. We got to fight. the recording. Andrea's death bad. match. It's a death <laughs> match. Nah, but like uh, they had censored it clearly on like the YouTube version. But so, like, it's saying my hole that bad on TV. Or they just didn't like it because she didn't because she said it and it was off script. Yeah, I think she just went rogue and they they Facts. freaked out and they was like, "What's what's what she mean, my whole? Facts. That's that's obscene. Let's let's edit that out." But there's no way that they was like, "You should say my whole after you getting your butt cracked on the apron like that." So <laughs> that shit was wild, man. Nah, uh, see, you can't do that shit with fans. That's the best part of what's happening now is that everything is mic'd up. So that's right, something right. you won't catch a year ago. Everything. And then now it's just Everything. like she like my whole and uh shout out to Naya though she's a whole snack so I ain't mad at it. I hear that shit, son. <laughs> I like that. I like I I, I, I appreciate that energy. A whole snack. Yeah, so not mad at it. She went viral. Um, yeah, let's as long as she don't hurt people in the ring, she got all my blessings. Well, too bad she hurts people in the ring. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's kind of like that's it, that's what I always think about when because like usually when you know, something they planned or something they didn't plan goes viral. Like WWE is known to use that, feed off of that yeah. energy. Yeah. But WWE on Fox retweeted the moment. Exactly. Exactly. I think that might have been where I where I saw it going viral initially. Um but you know she there it she has a tendency to fuck somebody up in the ring. Like it is what it is. What do you do with Nia Jax at this point? Do you just Wait for the wait for these random viral moments. Like she can't, can she go anywhere? So what you do is when you get someone like that, you pawn them back off from the person who pawned them off on you. So we see if we can get her a role on the next season of The Rock's new show dropping next week. Young for Rock. Next season. <laughs> That's how you you got to bounce past her back. You like, oh, you it? Nah, you it? You know what I'm saying? That's <laughs> how you get it up. They might. Nah, you I'm need like, to make merch ASAP. I don't know what else you're doing, I but if you don't it. have my. Where are merch? they selling my whole shirts? Yo, G. Can you check and see Anywhere. the WWE shop if there's my whole t shirt? <laughs> Give me a second. So no, because you, 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 you've just written her of, written of off completely. I don't know. It's one of those things where I don't know how, like, they've been doing this Lana story. Yeah. Is this the end of the Lana story or are they yeah. going to keep going? No. Lana like, won the what, match. What, I, you, you're getting paid off of it. You're you're able to do what you want to do, be on TV weekly. I understand it, but at some point, I feel like, like she could be the most. She could be on some Roman Reigns slash like Bobby Lashley, just like dominant for the sake of being the biggest motherfucker in the room type dominant. But it it she has she has a tendency to like go off the script and hurt people like. Are are they down to give her? A, it doesn't seem like they're trying to put her in the world title picture. Well, she no. had. She just had. I mean, she had tag. She had the tag team strap. They yeah. had them. She still got. And, it. She just and, got and, back. and they were doing the. They, they were doing back? the Lana yeah, that's shit. Right. That's right. They that's were right. doing the Lana shit. Like there, none of this stuff is substantial. So do we get? Do y'all think there is any chance that we get a? Lana and uh, Lana and Naomi uh, tag team title run. Is that because no. I'm no. cool? No. Like I would much, I would much rather get a series of matches with Naomi and uh, what's the guy? Um, Reginald. Reginald? No, 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 no. no. no say Reginald. Okay. Nia Jax. Nia Jax's partner. Oh, Shayna. Oh, Shayna. Yeah, yo. <laughs> I'm, I'm out. 
<laughs> Jesus Christ. Guys, I don't want to hear any more about that guy. Christ, you're terrible. You got to relax. <laughs> terrible. You got to relax. Terrible. Oh. No, I feel like they're, they're about to pivot to uh because they're about to do the Dusty Classic and the NXT mm-hmm. women, whoever wins it, that that is going to get a tag team title shot. So it feels like they're going to move them into uh Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax. I mean, look, man, let's be honest. The women's tag team titles ain't shit. Don't nobody care about them. <laughs> Come Listen, on, man, let's I, be real. I'm a huge Iconics fan, rest in peace, to the tag team. <laughs> but... That's never been I said mean, on this podcast before. I just, listen, <laughs> if I got to be the first, I got to be the first. I'm not on Billy Kay. I appreciate Billy Kay is legit. Um, I was, was about, Ryan Ryan about Puerto, Puerto Ricans on the pod, and they run wild. <laughs> <laughs> See what I got to deal with? I deal with it every week, bro. Every week. <laughs> listen, y'all Most bugging time, if you don't man. like the Iconics. Y'all bugging. When, listen, I love Sasha, but when Iconics won at Mania, I was like, let's get it. I was, I was there. I was next to Dre. We were like third row. I lost my shit. That you was were hyped for that. He was Yo, hyped for that. Hey, Mania. when they won, I lost I mine too. For that. I, hey, when they <laughs> won, I lost mine too. I got to see your whole. Oh, <laughs> Yo, but now Riot Squad got to get the belt. So, however that works, that works. Riot That's Squad. too late. Come on, man. Listen, yeah. nobody cares about the women's tag team titles. And you know who <laughs> doesn't care about them more than anything anybody else? Vince McMahon doesn't give a shit about them tag team titles at all. Like, not yeah. one iota. Think about it. Oscar was a champ. They brought Charlotte back for basically no reason. Oscar ain't had a program in God knows how long. They win the tag team titles off of Shane and Nia for reasons that nobody knows. And they immediately drop them because of Lacey motherfucking Maga Evans? Lacey's got a title shot. She She's going to be... Lacey's she been getting win. naked lately, yo. She's hey, Blonde's having more fun, bro. Lots what do we have think? More fun with Vince. Yeah, of course. What do we think that's going to be? Because it, at some point we have to get Oscar Charlotte Flair, right? Lana no, can't or yeah. Lacey can't be the one. Yes, I, yes, I thought can. we. Yeah, I thought they was going. They were working to that. They're they're hitting I, I, No, they want her to be. Yeah, I, she, she cannot be the no, one. She cannot be the one. one. She cannot be the one. But now, she's you, the one. You're yeah, ready for like six, seven, eight months of that? No, it's going to be a month and a half. With Ric Flair helping her win, right. and then Charlotte posing with the belt at WrestleMania, right. so she's gonna be a champion for a month and a half. Here's here's the That's thing: bad. this is all born out of error. This was all born yeah. out of a Vince, I mean, a, a Ric Flair botch. He grabbed the wrong foot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was right foot, man. Rick, Rick, was drunk. It. Rick was drunk. Come on, come on, keep it a bean. Rick was drunk. Is he drunk still? Is I think <laughs> he be sleeping on. now. Sometimes he be sleeping. <laughs> oh, don't sleep. But come on, man. Let's be honest. Oscar's the most disrespected champion in the WWE roster right now. Yeah, hundred percent. She done had that belt since Becky gave it to her. Gave it to her See, last year. Yeah. But, wow. yeah. and, and, and I'm gonna ask y'all this: How many programs has Oscar had since being the champ? Name them. The the only one that comes to mind is the one with the with Sasha and uh, and Bailey, because only were, because they both only because they wrestled that one show, and they, oh, were, on, and they one. were on a completely different show. So I right, they had were, a feud on Raw since she had the title a year ago. And right. it, I ain't gonna lie to it; it hasn't been bad. That's not hasn't been that bad for her because Raw stunk. So <laughs> I mean, it, it, they're maybe they're protecting her. But <laughs> wait, but, she about to drop the title though. <laughs> but remember, fam, because like three weeks ago, when like Alexa Bliss, she I I don't she became Super Saiyan or she got some she type of crazy it. powers. Yeah. She she would. I, that's why I was asking. I'm like, are they building her up? Are they giving her these main event matches so she can be a character, or, or are they doing it for Bray? And it seems like they did it for Bray because she went from beating Asuka to showing up at a Randy Orton match to not being around. They they the same person. It's the same person. But yeah. I, I still say they dropped the ball and they didn't do the three faces of Foley with Alexa Bliss. That'd have been hard in the rumble. Oh, I wanted that with the fiend too. Yeah, yeah. So I mean I'm with it. They did drop the ball off of Has that. he worked a match in the sweater vest? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. 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 He, uh, yeah. He lost to the Miz. The, the Miz uh, match. Miz. Yeah. Him and Randy Orton. Just Randy had a Orton match. So he loses every time though. Um Every time he has a sweater vest, he loses. But that's cool with me. Like, 
That's like, I like that different character. But I think this year we see Alexa and Bray both at titles at the same time. It might not be at Mania, but like sometime over the summer. I don't think so. I, I think, think they're the same nigga, yo. I think they're the same nigga. Like, I, I don't think it's, it's the same person. Yeah. It ain't. They'll they'll have the titles together. It'll be like little toys. They'll have little little Ken and Barbie dolls and shit. I'm not mad but, at it. I'm not. No, mad I mean at it that. could be worse. I I don't like the fiend with the title. Like that shit's stupid. He doesn't I, need it. I don't like. Nah, the don't need it. Title. Let's get that out of here this next time. We don't need to go to Fangora and get the championship nah. belt. Just put another. Put the regular. You know what I mean. Just make the plates weird. Maybe the belt red, but don't. Yo, that's man, that's all it took. They went too oh, crazy on it. Yeah, mm-hmm. nah, nah, I don't need the goddamn uh, yeah. white Mike uh, Rob Zombie Devil uh, Reject belt. I don't need that. That's something like the hardcore championship where it's all broken, like just somebody is scattered. Somebody is selling a lot of meth to buy those belts, though. I don't know where that is, but the, I mean, the, they got to be selling. Anytime the, there was some new fiend shit, they were doing limited time offers. The same shit they're doing with them Bad Bunny t-shirts, limited time, because they know people going to be hyped, but you got to coax them into that window of actually copying. Hold on. OVO, OVO Drip got a stat. Uh, Bray Wyatt. In the sweater vest, defeated the Miz at TLC 2019. He didn't lose; oh, sure. he defeated him. Didn't yeah. he defeat two people? One match. I, he I think he also might have defeated Daniel Bryan. I got to double check. Yeah, I but. thought he beat that. No, that wasn't. It wasn't a finish to that match, was it? I think uh, that he was that match. He wrestled Daniel Bryan, and he was gonna he was gonna hit him with, the with that hammer. And mm-hmm. then I think the Miz came. He was gonna yeah, hit him yeah. with the hammer. <laughs> he was with the giant hammer joint. Yeah, Miz stopped him. Miz stopped him from hitting him with the hammer. Pause. Listen, you're, you're, you're my this so ridiculous, man. <laughs> like this shit it's, actually happened. Imagine, like it, it, it was on the screen. I'm saying, but if I'm a lap, if I'm a laps fan and I'm coming back, it's like, yo, what you what you been watching? And I I was like, yo, and I tell them this, they been make the fuck out of here. Anyway. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. But but then those idiots put it on Fox where more people can see it all the time, and nobody right. nobody. Anyway, Listen, there's know. Because, because, the, the because the Fox niggas was like, yo, whatever that is, that fun house, we want that. We want yeah. it. See, you. Listen, there's worse shit than the fiend, though. So I'm good. Like, I, I've, I've seen dumb. Sh- I just saw Goldberg two weeks ago. So, like, what are we arguing about? Hmm. You're not wrong. He was wrestling for a title, but <laughs> he was wrestling <laughs> Nick Aldis. But, but, <laughs> <laughs> to, but to that credit. I can sell Goldberg to a, a audience that left and be like, "Hey, remember this nigga? Oh, people, the sweater nigga, the sweater vest nigga talking to the to the to the to Jim Henson um uh, buzzer." I cannot sell a, a nigga that hasn't watched wrestling in 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 fifteen man. years uh, come this, back to the talking uh, buzzer. He's like, "Man, what the fuck this off? It don't work like that. Like that's try." <laughs> That's like you saying right now, yo, I could sell Pam Anderson in the same ass Baywatch swimsuit. That's mm. 60-year-old Pam Anderson. That, right, yeah, yeah, this nigga yeah. came so back with the same one like short. they used to. Yeah, 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 there's a whole short. different over. Yeah, but you know, like, there's there's some old creeps out there that still <laughs> check for Pam Anderson. It's, it's like yo, Goldberg. They still check it for him. Listen, uh, is niggas <laughs> tuning in already to Peacock for the goddamn say about the battle to see if Kelly is still kapowski So <laughs> she might be the only one. Yeah, no. low key. Okay. They want to see Lisa's turtle, fam. Lisa no. turtle is a whole different Lisa turtle. That's a different. Nah, I don't want to see Lisa. Like, turtle. Like, <laughs> to Lisa turtle. Yeah, she, she don't look like ninety two Lisa turtle. Yeah. That's fast. So we don't know what's going on over there, but uh, that's not the same motherfucker. Shit, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, Things have happened. Things have stuff, happened. Stuff changes, man. It ain't the same Goldberg. He's he's. <laughs> That he did two minutes point. back then. He got 30 seconds now. My son yeah. had quarter lift and one short saw. Get the fuck out of here, man. I want to see what He when, did when that look like dad at the swim swim practice. When, <laughs> the last time, when is the last time Goldberg hit a clean jack in? Shit. The oh, 90s. Yeah, oh, I was good. When Derrick Rose say. had knees, right? Like that's back then. When Derrick Rose <laughs> yes. had knees. Yeah. I swear to God, like he ain't hit a clean jackhammer in so long. He he done dumped Taker on the head. He don't like he can't, and they still keep trotting his ass out there. Damn, he's Pat Ewing on the magic. <laughs> like he is shot. Well, that's, that's, <laughs> I, 
Bro, that's disrespectful. That's shot him right in the face. Shot him right in the face. That's crazy. Yeah, it hurts. It hurts. Now uh, the the other thing that happened on Raw, they got they're good. They got Drew defending the championship in an elimination chamber match. Yeah, I it's it's different. It's different. It's the same shit. Nah, it's, <laughs> it's different. Usually in the elimination chamber, nigga. So I guess it's obvious the edge is going to challenge uh whoever wins that match, right? Because normally nah. He's no. challenging Roman, bro. It's no. I mean, there's, there's a much media storyline with him and Roman. Like, if he challenges Drew, it just don't make no damn sense. Nobody cares. Right. Spear versus Spear, that makes sense. Roman trying to put an end to Edge's career because those two never wrestled before. They've never right. been in the same ring together before. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. Not Drew gonna, and Edge face versus face? Not no gonna, juice in that. Not going to forgive uh, uh, Edge for coming back because I was there for his – Oh, the last match, and now I was just at the Atlanta Mania. That's it. I was there too. God dang it. <laughs> Got me. God dang it. A couple times. Look, no, that's look crazy. man, this elimination chamber. I just need to know why the fuck is Jeff Hardy in here? So he can right. jump off the pod. That's it. But uh, come on, exactly. man. Exactly. The, the man is the man is booked 30 70, man. The man loses three out of t- like he wins three matches out of ten. Like he you know how angry he would be if this nigga won a lot of matches. That's true, also. Yeah, Never. I don't know why Sheamus just springing back up and being a threat is, is hey, yo, it's, he, it always happens though, but it's ridiculous. Sheamus yes. and Uzi. <laughs> damn man. Hat. Anything, yo. He's Wait for the break of the song and dance, man. On the WB. <laughs> hey, hey, at least it ain't a black. My name is cool. black. But you saying you saying Jeff Hardy book like he black. This no fact. 30 70 he book like he black. If yeah, Jeff man. Hardy was in AEW, he would only be on AEW Dark. That's how bad he's being booked on that show. <laughs> I'm saying. That's I'm true. saying. That's true. Right. I don't. I, mean, I don't. Want, it doesn't make any sense. No, I'm sorry. That I'm is sorry. Ricochet's future. Ricochet just looks at him. Like, Stop. 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 Don't talk about Ricochet no more. Man. <laughs> my boy, let, let him go. Ricochet's Ricochet my boy, but Ricochet's looking in the but mirror. He, like, he got a magic no mask wearing ass face. girlfriend. Like he got issues. Got a promo. What's a lot going on with you, man, Ricochet? But look, yo, I need to ask this question because let's talk logic, even though WWE doesn't use this very often. Oh, right. why, why is the Miz in this match when he could sense. just sit back and wait to cash in that briefcase? The only right. other thing I could think is, yo, if he loses, he just comes back. He's going to cash in. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. who the fuck want to see the Miz win the that's championship the end of the in match. 2021? Nah, but that's that's how he loses the the the, the case, and that's Again? how the match ends. In this. Ends. Oh, in this. This nigga. Like, you can three times. In this. That's how it is. Like, you can't, can't fail three times. Dude. Like, yes, you can. You, you can, can fail, fail once. Now. You yes, fail you again can. in the cage. You fail again yes, after can. the cage. Yes, he can. You can't fail three times. He's got Miz and Maurice. He he can fail a million times. As long as he got a reality show, he can, he right. can fail. You might as well if let you, Otis fail for that shit. If, if, cool. if you can't be Coral, my nigga... <laughs> Nick Aldis. Coral was a heavyweight for real, for real. Coral. Oh, shout out to Coral. Shout out to Coral. Big shout out to Coral. I mm. beat bitches Salute. up. I, don't hey, I beat it. bitches up. That's yeah. What... She was a wild one. Scrapping. Damn, Big back scrapping. in my youth with Coral. Yeah, Coral. Drip, hey, drip. Find me, Coral. Dang find it. me where Coral is, Drip. <laughs> <laughs> Coral put the Miz over heavy. His whole career is because of Coral. Facts. Yeah. I, I think that was the episode where he was Mike yeah. the Miz or whatever. He like he, yeah. He was he that he was out, being annoying off. as fuck. And she was like, get the fuck away from me. What are you talking yeah. about right now? Yeah, Crazy. yeah. Carl gave him the rub. Yeah. <laughs> well done. Jesus. Well done, sir. That was a good one. That was a good one. Fam, fam approved. And this yeah, motherfucker. Yeah. I, he like he, like he said now, some bro. shit in his life. Get out of here. Man. If, it's, if it's any nigga that get get us kicked off, it's gonna be me. Don't come on here. Don't come on here talking that fly shit, man. That's my goddamn job. <laughs> shit. Now they they also got the other match that that is announced for elimination chamber. They got a triple threat 
with Bobby Lashley versus Riddle versus Keith Lee for like the United it. States title? I don't know. Like no, when I saw Keith Lee and, 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 and Big Bob, I was like, you know what? Yeah, give me that. Give me that. I'm here for that. Get uh the nigga from the Great White Hype out of here. Get him. He's got to go. Facts. Yeah, Riddle, Dog, Riddle, Riddle doesn't make matches worse. Like, if Riddle, you want a real match, like this one, hell of a match. Yo, no, get Riddle out of there because he's Rob Van Dam 2021. Hey, dude. <laughs> hey, dude. Hey, bro, dude. Hey, dude. I don't I need to talk about match. the character. Like, you he's Rob Van Dam with no saying, shoes on. I'm <laughs> saying, uh, yeah, it's a triple threat. Which is always complicated because somebody got to roll out the ring for a good ten minutes while the other two face each other off. Just let, as my man Big E says, two big men bumping meat. We got Bobby Lashley <laughs> and Keith Lee. Let him do down. But that, but honestly though, that's a WrestleMania match. Bobby, Keith Bobby, and Keith Lee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a WrestleMania match. I don't know if you're going to get that because of this, this them adding motherfucking Matt Riddle into the mix and he gonna fuck around and get it right. He might be a champion at right. the end of that night. And I don't want to that I don't Trash. want to see. Nah. Damn, what do people hate my riddle? Like my riddle was the darling. Because, like, because of how his character's been booked, it's not yeah, his it's fault. Been, he's, it's he's, not he's annoying. Fault. He's no, annoying. He could beat half of the niggas on the roster up no, right. in real life. Right. However, right. it don't matter because they they, oh. they nerfed his character into a buffoon. Fact, he's time Santino, out. Time he's Santino out. with his toes out. Time out. Last year, and people forget real quick. Last year, Bobby Lashley was in a cuckold angle. We talking no, right. characters. Nothing no, wrong right. with that. So I, don't see, I don't see the yes. problem. Yes. I, don't see, no. I don't see the problem. Yes. He, <laughs> he no. was the baby face in the cuckold angle, cuckolding somebody He's, else. He so was, characters change Cameron, quick. Nasty. No, hold the characters nasty. don't, characters nasty. don't nasty. change quick. Man. Quick, Bobby, her Bobby business like, now. Everyone, no, I love bro. Bobby. Her business, Bobby's the man now. They've been trying, trying to build him for a minute, though. Dude, this is like year last year. year. Rebuild yeah. Bobby yeah. Lashley has been the same like GI Joe motherfucker his whole goddamn <laughs> career. Matt Riddle's been booked into a goofball angle where he loses a He's lot. A goofball. But but that don't work, man. When he was in Evolve, when he worked the indie scene, the dude was working. He wasn't he the surfer no bro games. dude at all. He wasn't right. about no games. Yeah. Yeah. But now he's playing win. games all the time. You can't take him serious with, with Keith Lee and Bobby Lashley? Come nah. on. Yeah. You got to win. You got to show in this match that you belong. You got to show that, yeah, those two are beasts. But I'm Matt Riddle and I throw people around. Like, Time's I, up for that. I'm built for this. Yeah, it the might be a wrap. I, 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 I don't yesterday. think they see that. I, came but this, is, this is the thing. This is the thing. All quarantine, especially when Matt Riddle's on the scene. I, I He could be great in a match. I don't care enough about what he's talking about outside that ring to see him win. My favorite Matt Riddle moment of the last two years is when he was tapping after Bobby Lashley got disqualified <laughs> for keeping him in that full Nelson. And then he threw him over the I, that's that's what I want to see out of Matt Riddle at this point. I don't that see reason. him. No, it's not even that. I just <laughs> I I dislike him so much that I was waiting for him to get beat and beat What's down Gulak like that? Doing right now what's Drew Gulak is he doing anything of substance running uh, after our truth yeah yeah, yeah no yeah, they yeah. need to go ahead and put that what's the name of that crew Yo, they go on. in catch the ball right catch point put yeah, them back point. together yeah I, I mean I'm with it hundred percent but I, this, this, this version right. of riddle is whack it just yeah. it just ain't working bro yeah, and he's an right. amazing talent but this is some right. basic man like Yo, remember RVD? That's you. And it's like, come on, man. He's better than that. <laughs> yeah. Heard you get high. Yeah. Yo, St I think I think I think Drip got up. What you got, Drip? Well, I was just gonna say, because we all agree like Jeff Hardy shouldn't be in this match. Yeah, uh, like again, sh all right, Seamus is there because the Drew thing, but they could have swapped out Jeff Hardy, the Miz, because again, he doesn't need to be there. He's got the briefcase, so that defeats the purpose. And Randy Orton, because he's feuding with the Fiend slash Alexa, they could have plugged in. Keith Lee, Bobby Lashley, Matt Riddle, and told that story within oh, the Elimination Chamber. Let's yeah, say Bobby Lashley, Bobby Lashley eliminates Matt Riddle. All right, he's got an excuse. Or then Keith Lee pins Bobby Lashley. All right, I pin the champion in the chamber. Even though I didn't win the chamber, I, maybe I get a title yeah. shot. 
that's right. decision making. That's booking that makes sense. But no, they wanted to tell us six champions, one chamber. Like that's some <laughs> monumental announcement. And again, they brought my my guy Shane McMahon out there to make this announcement. <laughs> De- defeated the purpose. Hey, what kind of ones? Did he have? Did he have Jordan ones on this week? I missed that's that. Yeah, I think yeah, yeah, I Jordan, think so. Yeah, Jordan ones. Yeah. Hold on, Drip. The, the stat that I'm looking for is where's Cole, my nigga? Where's she's in San Fran- <laughs> she's, she's literally in San Francisco. Uh, she has a kid. Uh, but it seems uh, like she does. Your, no. You stupid as hell. Stop. You Stop. stupid Stop. as shit. Stop. Husband or no husband? That I mean, like, like that's a damn shame. Listen, I didn't a see lot of people what have kids. Listen, no. Wait. <laughs> what, what ones did he have on? I promise, I did. I did. Was, I did um, not catch the beginning of uh, the show. Storm, I, I want he to had a trophy room on. I'm sorry. He had a trophy room joint on. No, 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 no. It, they were blue. It was like a black and blue. They weren't the fragments, but it was something. Oh, the other, so I think it was the ones that was. He wore like, the fragments um, before, though, didn't he? I don't Probably. know. Probably. I mean, he went on yeah, a I run would, for a minute, I but I expect I'd... him to have fragments. It's a damn I shame people just look at his sneakers. Like, <laughs> no, like, like yo, my, he has a major announcement. All right, what kicks he got on? It ain't well, major. He he's made that happen though. He was the one on Instagram talking about look at these customs, look at these whatevers I got for peace to to Team Jordan or whatever. Like he made that a thing. And I don't care about him anymore. So now I'm just looking at what's on his feet and then I'm pressing mute or something. Like I I it is what it is in 2021. Shane McMahon does not excite anything about me wanting to watch wrestling at this point. Nah, he's hey, a 40 year old white man. What a giant <laughs> almost almost or whatever almost. they call him. However they almost. pronounce it this week. Oh, you don't almost. like almost? But no, no, they keep changing the pr- pronunciation. It was almost, then it was Omas. I was like, yo, what happened to just like the big nigga at the front door? I'm cool. Yeah, yeah. your we friend. Oh, I need. Manute Swole was, was, <laughs> was good with that. Swole. They fucked up on that one. They did fuck up on that one. They ain't want to send us a check. <laughs> nah, they ain't want to send us that check. <laughs> now, earlier... We, there were a couple of mentions of Sasha, a couple of mentions about uh, the women's um, division, especially with tag teams. And I think it was interesting this week that uh, Sasha's quiet. Sasha's been real quiet. There's been a lot of darts being thrown at her. And I'm not really – Kara Hogan and Tasha Steele, they're the current Impact Women's Tag Team Champions. Yes, mm-hmm. sir. Um, they were just on live. And I think somebody at, somebody was – Sound like they was popping shit, which is which is sad. Like I, whatever feelings you have for your peer is one thing, but like you can tell something's there when like one mention of their name. She, I don't want to say set off, but she definitely started, you know, talking some shit, talking some shit. She said it wasn't about Sasha Rock and blue hair, but it's. I feel like I had heard. Has she? Is, is this the first time Kara Hogan's had words for Sasha, or is this something that's been going on? First, I've heard of it. Yeah, I, I, ain't, heard I they, haven't heard anything either. I thought it was a little, a little tiff. Um, in the, a while like a year or so ago. Yeah, I thought it was a while back. Nothing, but, nothing like. Uh, it, know, was, it was. It was like you, subtle, subtle. You ever? You ever? Uh, like been walking down the street, and when you when you pass a a a, a yard, it's a it's a fence, and that dog comes and starts barking at you and shit for just walking down the street. Is you didn't do anything to it? I'm just saying, <laughs> when you walking and that motherfucker, <laughs> but you don't bark back. She can't. Yeah, it's it's a whole different level. Like it's. It's apples to oranges, and I love what they're doing in Impact. Nah, they're dope. You no, know, like yes. they're dope. They're them. Right. But Sasha, I like Sasha's what the black people are doing in Impact. Yeah, like I, Sasha's a superstar. She's she's a different level. You know, she's the she's biggest true. star in the WWE right now. Facts. They they got her for a year and a half more. That's it. Yeah. Like uh, racist Star Wars chick got fired yesterday. Carano. <laughs> Like Sasha about to take that spot in a second. No, nah, facts. So it's like, yo, you got her for a year and a half, and she's about to be John Cena. Yeah, she's so it, it's one of the, it's it's apples to oranges. Like Sasha is is about to transcend the sport. By the yeah. way, Sasha's been bait for me since like oh, 2015. So you ain't uh, all these dubs he put on this. 
But I mean, like, <laughs> she it, it is what it is. And but I, I appreciate them doing what they're doing because they do it to a whole a whole different level. Like Sasha yeah. started with the Sasha's ratchet, like as a gimmick. Like they're right. just being themselves. Right, right. Like so, right. so I, I understand, like, if you feel like yo, this is a gimmick, she's kind of like cosplaying me. But oh my shit, man. I, I mean, at this point, she's doing that shit for six years. She's a superstar. So when she bounces, just take that spot. Like right. you could, like you good. They're gonna look for the next Sasha Banks. She's very good. So just she's slide good. right in. She's very good. They, uh, the other thing that the, the other thing she said on the live was, uh, she didn't specifically say Sasha, but they were talking something about the biggest botcher in the WWE is a female, and some people are taking that as a shot. At Sasha Banks, not Nia Jax. Yeah, that, that's not oh. like Nia to me, champ. <laughs> it do. Sasha's had her moments. She has, but Nia's. Woo. Nia's a Nia's. A hey, taking people question, out. Question: Have they seen AEW? Because if, we, if we're talking about women botch, I'm just I'm just wondering what they watch every week. I, I Yo, like the first I question like niggas asked after uh, Nia Jax said my hole was, which hole was she talking about? I, I just <laughs> wanted to be sure. I wanted to be, because I'm, tr again, I'm trying to grade the level of working or shooting. Like, it, you know, working where was shooting her hole? How did we, like, how, how did we, we tell? How, how do we get here? here? Your cousin know. asked a question. Your cousin asked a question. <laughs> Um, that's that's the problem. I didn't start it. I wasn't even talking about it. He asked a question. I answered it. I don't know what to do with my hand. It's not my fault that she said that on the like uh, math. We talk about wrestling weekly on this show. If you say some wild shit like my hole, or if you're a uh, a ball brother talking about whip that nigga's ass on live TV, how am I not gonna talk about it that week? Hmm? So what was it? I'm assuming it, well, she said before she said my hole, she said my butt. So I'm assuming she was talking about her butthole. But and her hands is like this. Yeah. She said it. Context clues. See, she grabbing. I mean, Shout I don't know how. I don't know why her butthole is all the way up there. I don't. I don't know why her butthole. A <laughs> butthole had way up her back. That's Listen, what. fam. She got. She got a lot of cheeks. The hole is wherever it wants to be. <laughs> let let night let night run. Yo, yo, <laughs> this comment. Thank God. This conversation wasn't on my bingo card for 2020. <laughs> <laughs> it just wasn't. So right before chamber, he's doing up. his best to get us up out of here. <laughs> Whatever Try works. Get us up out of here. I don't appreciate this shit. Whatever works. No, it's hilarious. <laughs> now, in in the uh, in the Kiara Hogan Sasha Banks situation, uh, Kiara Hogan is definitely the Joe Budden to Sasha Banks is Drake. If you understand what I'm oh, saying. Oh, not like that. Oh, boy. Look, look, look. I'm just talking about the situation. You got, he he just, he just you got somebody you. barking, doing a lot of barking. Oh, yeah. I'm with you on this. And somebody who was like, what's, what's, what, what's on my schedule? Oh, big, I got to be somewhere. Fan, I, am, I am a Joe Budden, the rapper. Fan. My bad, Cal. Like internet it's soldiers, not. Joe Budden fan, but uh, rock with it. Keep that going. was fifteen I'm years ago. <laughs> <laughs> you know, every time, play. no dis. Anytime somebody loves Joe Budden, it's either they talking about the the joint where he was smoking cigarettes throughout it, or they they bring up mood music. That's all they have to say. Like, I mean, they, I mean that's what he got. And mood music. And that OLS, shit was ten minutes alone. Yeah, ten minutes is dope. That's OLS so one through four. That shit I mean, was fire. That shit's been like 12 years. Uh, but How much time we got? Because he can do this all day. Yeah. Like, well, well, no, no, no. no. We're going to get this nigga out of here. Well, because, I mean, all, all of that is great until you're coaxing somebody into a beef. You have charts and shit while you're doing a podcast talking about play the song, stop it. That part's me. That's me right there. I used to, I, we, we used to, never mind, I don't want to say anything like that, but, um, Sasha, Sasha cannot say anything in this situation. She can't. No, there's like it's not Pusha T versus Drake. Like, no, right? like, exactly. No, exactly. Not coaxing like, her out of anything. I don't know what I don't know what Kiara Hogan could say that would make Sasha flip on her. Nothing. Nothing. 
like Sasha's in her own bubble. Like at, at that point, my it's, girl it's a whole looks better than yours. Actually, you, wow. About it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Good. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, but I mean, that that conversation actually brings up another conversation. I want to ask the brothers from the corner and um, just just walk with me for a second. Oh, shit. Um, the, like a, a couple of, over the last couple of weeks, we have random conversations trying to find rapper equivalents for uh, some of our favorite pro wrestlers or pro wrestlers in general. I don't want to say favorites for everybody. We had a conversation where we would we deduced that Triple H is the inspected deck of Keep the going. WWE, Keep and uh, somehow Kevin Nash is Raekwon. Huh? Anybody who anybody who wants to know how we got to those situations, go to the Black Wrestling YouTube. We got a couple of conversations up there. Oh, but I, I want to ask you guys, this is a, a conversation we were having off air. We thought about it. And I want to have it on the on the pod. Let me make sure I got this note right. Is John Cena the Jay-Z of pro wrestling? Yep. 100%. You're not from the corner. You're not from the corner. Yeah, I would, um, no. Kel was quick with a no. Kel was quick with a no. A corner. From a corner. Pardon me. Pardon me. <laughs> One eight five four. So Jesus. I mean, I I understand the comparison because he he came right after quote unquote what people say is the two goats, right? So you'd be like, all right, Cena's that next, and you run all the way through now. He so had a run if, too. He had if, a run. if Pac and Biggie is Brett and Sean, Cena is oh then wait a second, Jay Z. Wait, that, that's I like just that. where my mind yeah. goes. Right? I like, like wait a second. Pac, Pac is my number two though. Right, but let's just get that right. Pac's not my number two. So I, I think Jay is the best rapper to ever live. So I can't I can't go with that comparison. Like gotcha. if you if you ask me, like timeline not kind of in the mix, Jay-Z is Ric Flair to me. Jay-Z is the person where okay, Sean and Brett were better kind of in vacuums, maybe, but Ric Flair did it in the 80s. Did it in the nineties. He ain't the same in the two thousands, but he cut one hell of a promo. He gonna be around in the twenty twenties. He's five decades. No one has longevity like Gay. Does Rich that make Gay. Harley? Is Harley races Jazz O then? <laughs> That's good. Sure, let's get it. There you go. But well done. nowhere right. in the right. professional wrestling podcast <laughs> do you get let's, Harley there, Race is Jazz, jazz O. Let's get it. There you, there you are. Right. <laughs> Jay, Jay is Ric Flair to me. Jay got classics. Jay got his joints with Steamboat. Jay got five stars. You know, Jay's just done it for so long. Brett was cut short due to injury. Biggie right. was killed. Sean lost his smile. Like, you know, like, shit, their, their windows are short. Had some sunny Jay, Jay, <laughs> Jay doesn't stop. And then you look at, you look at Rick. Flair hasn't stopped. Like Flair, Flair is here, baby. It's five decades. Jay can rap for another ten years. Charlie, so Jay is Flair. Ivy, yo. <laughs> no, I mean, Char- going too far. <laughs> yeah. going too far. That's my I, I, that's my comparison on it. Like like Cena, I, Cena's probably Drake. You give me Drake with Cena. He's a little hey, more flash. What is going on? Like, hey, yeah, give me give me Drake and Cena together. If anybody that's producing this show can look in the comment section when I say cut this nigga's mic. They're going to feel me on that one. Shout out to Jazzo <laughs> and Harley Ray. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Was it, was a, it was the only older guy I could think of. Wait, but Matt, you, you, you're not feeling that at all. You look confused. What, what, what are your thoughts on which, on, on which part? Because Kel made a, an, an amazing case for Cena. Yeah, he made an amazing no, case. It was, was, was a good case. And then he called him Drake. You don't like Drake? <laughs> Drake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm trying to hear what Andreas got to say about it. Right. Before uh, I say anything, uh, Cal. Where did, where, where did this thing start at before we got to <laughs> goddamn Harley Race and Jazz O? So John Cena and Jay-Z? 
Is that it's John Cena the Jay Z of pro wrestling, right? No, because John Cena, um, like Jay Z, was he came out the door flames, right? Even though Big was still there, he still had reasonable doubt. In my lifetime, was some bullshit on there, but in retrospect, it was an amazing album. There was a time where there was no five moves of doom from Jay Z. That shit ain't mm. never happened. Huh. Like, like, and, and John Cena's the end of his career was better than that middle part, whereas Jay was consistent throughout. So I, I can't make that comparison because I, I see what where it's coming from, but nah, man. There was a time that we all wanted John Cena to die. There was not a time that we was all like, "Yo, we got to get Jay Z out the paint." Like Jay Z made did, he did Kingdom Come. We ain't really, we ain't really like that. Blueprint three. Blue, yeah, <laughs> we did a Blueprint three, but there Damn. was an extended period where we were so sick of John Cena going over on everybody. Super I don't know who to compare that to. But I, I was going to say that who would it be? It might be Drake. Drake. Thank you. It might it might be Drake. So John, when, when John. you had Reggae Drake, no one liked Reggae Drake. Almost had to get him the hell out of here. Yeah, that's that was. Hold on, no. We got one person that like Reggae yeah. Drake. No, nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who likes one dance? Yeah. You show me there one person who likes one dance. He right there. His, his, right his, his square is <laughs> right next to you, my brother. He got a <laughs> whole <laughs> owl got on a whole his arm. Yo, yo. yo. That's first of all, first of all, you also own the I amount of slander going on between <laughs> John Cena and is is like I'm furious yeah, backstage. Yeah. That's a shame. <laughs> this is That's unacceptable. <laughs> unacceptable, guys. <laughs> listen, fellas. Listen, he, he owns a John Cena highlighter shirt, so uh, I'm, I'm convinced of it. it's okay. <laughs> no, there ain't nothing wrong with that. My when my when my eleven year old was five, he had one. Yeah. Too. That's a damn exactly. thing. My son, my son was a Cena fan too at one point. No, that's right. That's right. I mean, Drip got the wristband with this on it. It's all right. no, I, it's all right. I never, I never got those. It was too late. It was too late. By, I had my, I, I got my, I made my own. Oh my god! Oh my god! No, see, shame. see, Andreas is right because John Cena got better as a wrestler as the years went. It's like no one was saying Jay Z got better as a rapper as the years got on. It's got to be that. I mean. It, they kind of like mirrored each other, like off out of the ring and off the mic. Like John Cena just started wearing suits all the time, yeah. and Jay Z was on that wave. Like you know, I'm wearing suits all the time. Like this she is that thing. Like I mean, they they mirror that way. But the Drake, I think that's something that the Drake being booed and hated all the time. Just like John, like we hate. Cena. I'm not saying I wanted John Cena to die when Andre said that. I was like, whoa, I never in my <laughs> life yeah. wanted, wanted to see John Cena die. Never. You know, the Vincent Man limo uh, explosion. That's what we wanted for, for John. That's a fact. <laughs> All right, but he's so, Superman. He'd come right back to life. That man returned facts, from an injury facts. four months, four months early. He returned. Nah, from that was just juice. That's just juice. Bro. Oh no! <laughs> you got it. You got him confused with uh, Dwayne Johnson there with that. So. Damn! Oh. Hey, you can't come on Black. Not during Black History Month. Not during Black History Month. We, we just had black. that. You we just had to reset. Body. Just had to reset the record straight on that shit because people is not gonna do that to the Rock. Dwayne Johnson, what's up, sir? So yeah, because this no, month rock is no, black. Who's your rock <laughs> comparison, man? Who's your rock comparison in hip hop? Y'all going rock comparison here. LL? Is LL the rock? No, he wasn't here long enough. LL's been here for a while. Right. He wasn't to me, here that long. to me, the rock is Wayne. No, 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 no. Wayne Wayne was here for a hot five years. Yeah, cut it out. And then no, no. no. Cena was cut here. For five. Stop it. No, hey, hot. hey. Stop. Yeah, stop no. it. Stop. Rock ain't never it just flying no stop. man in the mouth. Rock and Rock. Wayne? Rock. Yeah, Rock is Lil Wayne. Rock is LL. He was here quick. He's still influential. Drip is saying the Rock is Jesus. No, no, wait, wait, wait. wait. Wayne, years, Wayne was here. 98, 98 to 2003. No, stop. Wayne was Wayne here was with like the Hot Wheels. He was a damn kid. Yeah, he was a child. Wayne was 99.05. Wayne is Marco Stunt. <laughs> That's fucked up. No, <laughs> I hate that nigga too. <laughs> hey, <Marco. laughs> that's good. Oh, no, that's good. That's fucking Rocky. funny. Yo, Kel, you gotta stop with the comparisons today. I no, you fuck. No, I got, I got a million of these. Oh, I know you do. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> I, I gotta deal with it. Then I'm gonna have to do another show with you later this week. Oh, yeah. my bad. My bad. 
I'm Don't sorry. Don't apologize. I, I signed up for this shit. I know what I did. <laughs> it's the life we chose. Yeah. Man. If y'all have never listened to the corner, this is it. Like, this is the pod. This is the pod. What happens every week? He brings up some absurd ass scenario that I gotta shoot down like a game of duck hunt. Every goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta put my, I gotta put my gun on right the screen here. like right this. here. <laughs> Get that fucking you, dog. So, you. so Ray, is there a, uh, is there a, a, a hip hop equivalency uh, to a pro wrestler you can think of though? Man, y'all put me on the spot. Let me think. Let me think. Y'all talk amongst yourselves. I, oh. I, it has to be good. I can't do. I can't just say right, Lil so, Wayne. No, 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 let me explain. Lil Wayne explain. in the rock is crazy. <laughs> let me explain why I said the the uh, the Cena was. Um, Cena was Jay, and for me, I because the, the Kel stuff I didn't even think of, and that stuff was perfect. But yeah, he had to go. Jay Z to me, he's considered the goat not because he's the best lyricist, he's not the best storyteller, he's not the best, he's not the best of any one thing. But Jay Z has had the single best career in hip hop ever. And I don't know anyone who ran on top as long as John Cena did in, in, in pro wrestling. So, and that's, and that's my equivalency is Jay isn't the best one thing. He's the best collection of things. And I think that's where I saw equivalency between Jay-Z and, and, and uh, Cena. But Jay-Z's top five, arguably, in everything. In everything. It is Jay-Z I mean, is John Cena top five in ring? No. No. Right? No, nah, but it's not one to one. I don't think it's one to one. I mean, he's, he's not. I he's think not there's a close. I think like he's, I think there's a closer one to one with Rick and Jay, though. I just it, yeah, it feels like, like Rick it, is top five in everything. Like if you want to put like Rick who? Claire, like Claire in ring. Excuse me, top there. five in everything in ring. Ross? Rick has as many bangers as anyone. Are you serious right now? Hey, stop it. Jones, he, he's arguably top five in whatever you want to put him in. Who are you putting ahead of Rick? Brett? Sean? Brett, Sean? All right, let's get it. I mean, I put, I put Savage. That's just me. That's a fact. All right, now, now we're splitting hairs, but cool. That's no, we're not, no, 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 no. I, no, I ain't got no hairs. Mean, split, so, no. He, <laughs> fact. Yeah, maybe, fact. Maybe he who must not be named Eddie Guerrero. So that's four. No, that's five. a fact. That's a fact yeah. as well. I mean, you know, let's be honest. Like it's Daniel pretty. Bryan. Daniel Bryan is a better in ring wrestler than Ric Flair. DB. Hmm. I mean, okay. that's five right there. I, I mean, we. Uh, I say this all the time. No, he's really gotta, yeah. Like, this Brent, is the. This He's is great. the equivalency of talking lyricists yeah. in hip hop. Is yeah. you talking one part of the game? Yeah, yeah I don't think Flair's top five in ring. No, He's closer than Cena. Cena. He's closer than Cena. Who? Flair. Flair. He's higher in ring than John Cena. He is. Mm. He oh. wasn't carried by Sting. I don't, know. I don't know about that. He wasn't carried by Sting. He made those matches. Wait, 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 wait. Made, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Wait, those with him, made, they made it together. Like, he wasn't carrying the matches. Him. Flair made the feud with him and Steamboat. Yeah. No, Steamboat. Flair stole his ass off in those matches. Come on. Flair, Flair, Flair be telling. I mean, it's, it's, a lot of these pro wrestling in ring niggas' daddies, too. Yeah, yeah, but you got, but it's an hour long match. Flair wasn't just Flair. standing there. Like, yeah, he, was, he, was, he wasn't I'm, carried. Like, he didn't get as much offense in. He was the heel. The baby face got his O. He sold. That's what he did. Yeah, but the baby face has to make their comeback too. And and he sold for that. Like he did his part. People still plan matches off of what Flair did. Wait, 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 like a wheel. We, 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 gotta do, we gotta do this because by saying Flair's not top five is not disrespecting his ring ring ability. It's just no. saying that there's five people yeah, that are better than Rick Flair that I'm that sure in are. ring. Cool. In but in the ring. Yeah. Nigga, yeah, right? I'm saying he's close to five. He's if not close to five. five. He's not close to five. You ain't gonna find ten. I will find <laughs> ten. Like, you ain't gonna, gonna find five ten. more. I, I, will, I, will find, I will find more. you five more. I think we, 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 we really gotta to start grasping at the Omegas, the uh, no, we won't. the, no, the we current won't. wrestlers, the Okadas. Like you gotta start grasping at those to in put the them ring. in the We're talking about in ring. Your, your yeah. favorite, your favorite flair match is what Steamboat, right? I, and aside from that, his yeah. feud with Dusty was incredible, and his feud with Terry Funk was incredible, right? Correct. But outside in of that, ring, 
the Sting, Sting match in ring might be up there. Like, look, look in ring, trash. in ring, Kurt Henning was better than Ric Flair. Wait a minute. Hey, I like it. Hey. Like, when I was first, talking this shit, nigga was looking I at like, me like I was crazy. I like the camera. Yeah, what's with you, man? What you talking about? Fuck, that's tough, man. Because yeah, I can't. I, look, I can't we play. like Rick, but it'd be crazy. That's that's like, what you what you doing with, with Flair too. If I go that way, then Owen Hart, like the, yes, then we can weird, weird yes, places. Yes, that's why I said I he's know. not top five. That's all I'm telling you. It's know. not that difficult. It's not that difficult. He's not top five in ring. In ring, keep saying different stories. In ring, yes. What you saying, man? What you about to say? Him. No, because I was saying this shit, niggas was looking at me like I was crazy. <laughs> Not because you're nah. crazy. That's yo, true. Yo, but Kurt still. Angle better in ring than Ric Flair. <laughs> Facts. Am I lying? Facts. Kurt Angle better in the ring than Ric Flair. Man, and he, he, you can pick either really one. Good. You can pick Perk Angle or WWF yeah, Perk. Angle. Like Perk Angle really good. <laughs> I'm just telling you. <laughs> Kurt, Kurt, oh, look at my angle. Angle. I didn't even get into AJ Styles. I don't think I'm rocking on on Kurt, Kurt Angle. Angle, you don't. Kurt like Angle him? bothers me. I don't like Kurt Angle because Kurt Angle is Lil Wayne. <laughs> no, Kurt Angle is Lil Wayne. Spot Monkey, the nah, biggest nah. spot monkey of all time. <laughs> yeah, Junkie, Spot Junkie, <laughs> Spot Junkie is crazy. Yeah. That might be the he name of the Spot Junkie is good. <laughs> Spot <laughs> Junkie is really good. The honestly. fact is, Ric Flair in ring, not top five. How? As a wrestler, as a package, yeah. But in ring yes. by itself, mm -mm. right? Same with John Cena. Great no, time I mean, in ring. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Like We're not doing that. John Cena's not next to Flair in ring. I like all of it. Huh. And, and you know what? I mean, look, man, I like John Cena. I think you know the CM Punk match was great. Kevin Owens match was great. His feud with AJ Styles was great. Oh, it's all niggas that were great. Yeah, <laughs> when he's wrestling, niggas that's great. And I think <laughs> it, it, it comes. It starts to be that way with Flair too. It's that way with Shawn Michaels as well. Hey, no, no, come on, well. slow down, slow down. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right I'll see y'all right later. Please, please, I'm you, please. Please. I, I was waiting for that. I'm out of here. <laughs> please, let's not. Let's not talk about the GOAT right now, baby. Ooh, like, Bret, Hart? Know. Bret Hart's the GOAT. Or Bret Hart, 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 Hart is Overall, Bret Hart is GOAT. In the ring, Bret Hart is the GOAT. Yeah. Give me Bret I Hart's can, best promo. Hold on, Kel oh, Dan. You, 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 really, you don't want to do that. That was a you bar. You don't want to do that. That was a bar. Give, give you Bret Hart's best promo. Do you remember the, the Canadian heel run, Bret Hart? Do you remember how many people Bret Hart made? Yeah, I, but, but, I, but you remember that 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 oh, Bret Hart Hill run had the the assistance of running shows in Canada, right. running down the USA, which okay. in itself isn't oh, Bret Hart turning the people. That them people was already ready to. I want to boo America. The, the, pro, the promos was still money. And when you Brett, talk about the in ring, promo wise, Brett don't got a barbershop window. Nah, that wasn't got... a promo. That was a super kick. What are you talking about? Brett is Brett no, is that was him and Janetti. I know. What was the they, promo? They, they, the there was, there was no promo. There was promo. He was tricking Janetti. All this shit. They hold the arms up. Give me a ball. Kick. Give me a ball. It was no ball. That that was a whole fucking it was, thing. It was we the had, bar. I'm Burst out yeah. window. Sean, you can't remember the lines. Come if on, you say this man. is my favorite rap of all time and you can't give me a bar, that's not your favorite rap of all hey, time. Shout out to my nigga. There you go. <laughs> come on. That's, it's fact. You ain't give me a bar with the fucking Canadian run. Yo, Canada people loved him. Great. He's Canadian. <laughs> you don't have to be. A, no, it's not about being a baby face. It's the fact it's, that he was, drawn, he was drawn deep in America. And when he feuded oh, with man. Austin, that shit was great too. My point is, is that Brett, you know, Austin you know, shit is something rap. people don't talk about. People don't talk about that. They right, because, they, they both flipped. That was that was a moment. Brett that was a was moment. Steamboat. Brett was Ricky Steamboat in in those where he didn't have to carry the feud on the mic because he he did the matches in the ring. But the outside goat. of it, the nigga number two. Brett, Brett okay. he didn't he didn't number outside two. of these stuff with this number two stuff. Brett made everybody, everybody good look you know, good. Sean only made people that was better than him. Like that was it. Sean was a selfish wrestler. Let's just be Matt honest. Matt is so happy right now. <laughs> Sean was a selfish wrestler. 
Oh, the second half, he wasn't selfish in his best match. Because 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 he only because 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 no, it was car- he was getting carried all over the place. Carry <laughs> Taker? No. Did no. he carry Jericho? No. no. That was all he story. Was doing salts off of the that top was all- against that Jericho. Was I was hey. talking hey. about in the half of Bret Hart's career, but what it doesn't that? exist. But he got kicked what in the that? fucking head and terribly booked. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't yeah. exist. Thank hey. you, Bill Goldberg. Hey. The second half of that career doesn't exist. But the first half with the Heart Foundation does exist. That time in Japan exists. Don't don't do this. Don't okay. do this with me and Brett. We got Rock. Don't do this. Hey hey hey. Like before before your, man, before your man did a ladder match, Brett was doing that shit first. Don't talk your shit. Hey, he, he made it a high. Yeah. Hey, he made it a hot line. I made it he a made hot, hot hey, line. Nah, hey, I'm not gonna use that because that's what's 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 match? Hey, what's the best WrestleMania match of all time? Oh, that's not Steve Savage. Steamboat Savage. That's not fair. I'll say Steamboat Savage. What's not fair? No, because you know what my best Mania match is. What's What's the best Mania match? Billy Jack Haynes and Hercules. Is it Brett and Austin? A lot of people would say Baker, Sean 2, which is like the second best match ever. It's okay being number two, right? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> no, you set it up. That's, you know, I know that's, that's my job is to set it. That's what I do. No, because I can't See, lie for the sake of my uh, argument. See what I you think. See what you do with these niggas <laughs> that, that have facts that got to do with their job for a living. See? See? Listen, I just drink. Y'all can't play with niggas out here though. That's I just drink and argue. <laughs> Again, th- there's a reason why Andreas went from hip hop DX to everything else he's been doing hey, yo, in the really last 15 quick, years. Really quick, um, two things. First, um, just to, to, to put a cap on this conversation, yes. If you had to come up with a, and this is specifically for Andreas, if you had to come up with a rapper, uh, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, a wrestler equivalent, who would be in wrestling? Any, 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 uh, any organization who would be Fonte? Oh, see, you yeah, you do that. That's my oh, guy. Oh, who, who would be the Fonte? Question. That's a good oh. question. That's a good question. Mm. Samoa Joe. I'm glad you asked him. Oh, that's a great <laughs> comparison. Samoa Joe. Under under severely underappreciated for his work for years and years and years. They looked at him and was like, he ain't no wrestler. But when he got in that ring, he put bodies on people. Fact. True. 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 And, and, well, I, and when it was a situation where just being in the ring or being on the mic wasn't paying the bills, they just said, oh, I could just go be the commentator. Oh, I could just score all the TV shows and make all this money. They ain't got nothing. To, go man, that's that's the street bread. The, I like yeah. that. Right for the break. That's great comparison. I was thinking group first and then great solo run after. So I was yeah. I was throwing all off. I was I was thinking Owen Hart. You know, like well, Owen Hart, like, you can't have longevity of everyone else, but like you know, you're in the group first, you're in the tag team, no one's really fuck like you know, you're good, and then you just kind of run with it after that, or edge yeah. like on some shit where they're like, Yeah, your your group work is really dope. You're probably a hall of famer in your group, and then you leave your group and you're a world fucking champion. Like that's to me <laughs> far day. Like people don't res- like they don't acknowledge Edge what he should be. You know, like Edge and Christian alone as a tag team is a Hall of Fame. Right? That's little brother, uh, little brother alone is really dope. And then it's like, yo, they I want to go and do solo. Wait, they does that make classes. does that make Gangrel their ninth wonder? Because that's crazy. Oh, <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my god. Can I get the <laughs> Photoshop? Hey, and the two slap too. <laughs> hey, the blue <laughs> thing <laughs> slap. So you know. <laughs> Can I get that? Gang girls backstage on Fruity Loop 7 trying to make some shit pop. Hey, 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 Edge Christian Christian whip whip Gangrel ass, didn't it? Hey, yo, I'm finished. (laughs) That's funny. It is nice wonder. <laughs> hey, listen. Jesus. Do not, do not come for me. Don't come for me, cuz. No, no, clip this. This, a, 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 clip this part out. <laughs> that's the only part that's going up on YouTube. Nah. No, no. Um, wanted to ask again. I mentioned at the top that you know again, and, and thank you both. 
you know, we got to give people their flowers while they're still here. Um, there's been a movement online, you know, again, from, from the podcast space to just, you know, the social media timeline trying to really ride for uh, specifically black men and women in the pro wrestling industry. But I think um, being able to put those sentiments into a tangible thing, uh, a wrestling with stereotypes, multiple panels, having wrestlers come on and have these conversations. Um, it's, it's very commendable. I, uh, I know that quarantine and COVID messes everything up, but you know, can you guys, are, are there any future plans for, you know, what, what, wrestling with stereotypes could possibly look like this year? Is that a thing that's even on your radar right now? You know, talk a little bit about that. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll start it off, and, and Kelly, you can follow up on this as well. It's like, we we were targeting WrestleMania so hard this, last year. Like, we were really excited about that. So, the fact that we're, we didn't get to do it, it sucks. Um, but that's kind of how the podcast was born. Conrad called me one day and was like, listen, you just want to make it a podcast. And I said, cool. That way we can keep the momentum going so when it's time again, we get some people in the building, we'll do it Work. again. So there's absolutely yeah. plans to keep this thing going. And mm -hmm. um, the crazy thing about it is COVID, it's kind of helped in a weird way because more people have been asking to, for, for these kind of platforms because unfortunately during COVID, we had George Floyd, we had the protests, we've had so right. much going on. Um, so the, the space and opportunity is there. So I think when it comes back, it's gonna be that much bigger. You know, mm -hmm. when we, yeah. the fact, when we get a chance to do it, because before we were worried, like, yo, who's going to come to this shit? Who's going to check it out? Now, I don't think it's really a question. I think no, all of our all. peers are going to be there because we all, you know, we all love and respect one another. And we all know we need each other in this space. And I think, and I say this all the time, there's not enough of us in pro wrestling to be hating on another person, right? You know, when it comes to podcasts, when it comes to pro wrestlers, there's not enough of us. So mm -hmm. if, if anything that we can do to help push somebody else up, I'm here for it. So whether that's wrestling with stereotypes, whether that's boots and what y'all do, like as soon as I saw the sweater, I was like, yo, that's dope. I'm copying it and I'm talking about it. So it's like, I can't wait to do uh, the next wrestle with stereotypes or whatever the next big platform is because we just got to have everybody together because it's got to be one big ass fucking house party. That's just the way it goes down. Right. Yeah, no doubt. Um, nah, man, like talking about giving people their flowers, all of this, all everything we do is a brainchild of that man. So like Andreas, and I tell him this all the time, like on our show, he let me open up more about conscious issues and social issues. Like he's been this since he was like eight years old. I don't, I don't know how this should happen, but that's always been him. That's not always all of us, you know, like opening up, being able to talk about all these things to the point of me and him get to be on stage and invite people up to then open up to us and talk about their struggles and what it's like being in, you know, hip hop or just, you know, fans of wrestling or wrestlers and all this stuff, what it's like being a minority in that space. So we're going to keep it going as long as we can, as long as there's stories to tell, as long as there are people to open up. But all of this is just what he does. Everywhere mm. he goes, this is what he does. And then um, I, I tell him all the time and he laughs because, I, there's not one of our shows that he's listened to because he's a weirdo and he doesn't like that. I can't so listen to Yeah, it's hard to yeah, give him me. his flowers. So, that's me. Um, that's me. <laughs> I, so I have to constantly tell him, like, yo, no, this is dope or we're doing great or, yo, I appreciate this. But I, I tell him that all the time. Like, I wouldn't be at ESPN right now if it wasn't for him. Right. Because right. me being able to speak, to say whatever I want, and to understand that that's not going to affect my career. And that's the biggest thing with our our shows that I try to get across. And we try to get across on stage is you can be you. And if you're great, no one's going to stop you from going where you're going. Thanks. And I can get as I can do a million hot takes. I can call Jay-Z Ric Flair. I can say whatever I want. If that's what I believe it, and no one's going to stop me from getting to where I got to go. Yeah, damn right. Nobody's going to stop you. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's, that's the realest thing. Like, yo, I got to wherever I wanted to because I learned to speak my mind. And we want, you know, podcasts, wrestlers, everyone to be like, yo, just be you. And if you're dope and you're hot, no one can deny you from where you're going. And that's how we can be the best as a culture all together so hopefully our shows bring that to people people enjoy it we can have fun we can laugh like we did today 
usually people will find out in the long run that I'm right. But in the moment, if they want to laugh at me, that's cool. That's what right? That's, hey, that shit, <laughs> that's what we're here for. We're here <laughs> so everyone can be different. For so long, we all had to be the same. Right. We ain't the same. We're all different. And we can all be that. And we can all succeed in being different. Because for too long, people who didn't have melanin could do that shit. Mm -hmm. They could all be different. They could be weirdos. And all of them can make money. And it's time for us to do the same shit. So hopefully that's what people get when they listen to us. And hopefully that's what we're creating. All of us together. I, I think without a doubt. There's, again, it, it's, it's one of those things where there was a uh, a hole missing in you know that co that part of the, the conversation in, in in pro wrestling in general and uh you guys had the right puzzle piece to go right in there and um you know again i think that that's the one thing we preach you know we're it, it, we're on the same gang you know it's, it's it's no reason to uh i mean at least openly don't be publicly talking shit if you got something to say you know you 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 know where to reach me where we at <laughs> Don't put it in the chat. Put it, put it in, in the, the chat. chat. You know where we at. <laughs> we can have a conversation, but yeah, I mean, I think it's it's it would behoove all of us to be on some. What you said? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, before we get out of here, can, fam, can you bring Drip back into the conversation? Yeah, shout out to Drip. Ah. Hey, so, hey, hey I got a question. How much y'all pay Drip? Nothing. I need I need drip just so I can Not offset my we on talk, time. Listen, we talking yeah. March. We talking March. <laughs> February, he ain't doing nothing. <laughs> 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 Not a damn okay. shit. Oh, drip. <laughs> Yo, drip, hold, what on. Up? hold on, drip. Huh. This is the white noise section of the podcast. Yeah, here you go. <laughs> Drip <laughs> said he had some. Is that, how, uh, some... Oh, no, is that is that is that how how white noise is supposed to start? I think that's how we got to intro it now. Yeah. Oh, this all is... right, one hundred percent. I got you, my nigga. There you go. These white folks crazy. <laughs> I got let me see that boy. <laughs> I like how we produce the podcast on the podcast. Yeah, right? nigga, give me my intro. God damn. Yeah, I, I know. After, after, after a few months, I know how production works. So yeah, yeah there you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. See that that drip drip doesn't get any money, but you know he he's here to soak up some game. But anyway, you you had some white noise drip. What's going on? Well, white noise first started with like me praising Jay White, but then but I got I got no, but I got an issue this week. So uh, oh shit. It's no, not no, with no. a black person, right? What did no, Ellen no. do? Okay, no, no. What did Ellen no. do this week, Drip? No, did, did, <laughs> did anyone watch AEW last night by chance? Yes. How did the uh, how did the opening tag match go with uh with with Cody Rhodes and uh, Lee Johnson? Oh, Co Cody's in it. It went horribly. But <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean the, the the end result is that Lee Johnson. That <laughs> the end result is that Lee Johnson won. And this was his first win ever in AEW. Mm. And he did it with his white savior, Cody Rhodes, in his corner. Hold on. Talk, your shit. Shit. Talk your shit, Drip. Let oh, him know. Shit, yeah, let him no, know. I, I, I'm, I'm, yeah, what, what happened? No, no, they are. Right, so they, they win the tag match. Then now on Twitter, Tony Khan goes and says, Lee Johnson is now all elite. The guy's been on Dark Dynamite. Right, he's been on, yeah. But it hasn't been an official part of the roster, apparently. So he's been, you know, doing all this bullshit. But then the minute it's February and the minute Cody Rhodes decides to partner up with him, this man gets a win. And do we remember what happened last February with Cody Rhodes? Does anyone yeah, remember? He what beat happened? all the black people every week. No, no, that was last summer. And that was in the, after the height of the George Floyd thing. Last February, what happened with Cody Rhodes? Next Scorpio Sky? No, he got no. he got whipped. Yes, he, got he did. He got, he got the got 10 whipped. lashes from NJF. So this man, I see you, Cody Rhodes. I see the bullshit you're doing. All that backlash from last year. All that backlash from last year with the 10 lashes. And then the summer, again, right after jo George Floyd, he beat Mark Quinn. He beat Sonny Kiss. He and then again, boys is loud today. Talk your shit. That's it. And then and then last night it was all it was like all full circle. I was just like this. Oh shit! And this and this and this, this is right after his wife and him posted up at the Super Bowl. His That's wife. Exactly. Exactly. And what did and what did she do? She was at the Super Bowl, pregnant 
maskless. But then um, weeks ago, weeks ago, she was on Twitter. The whole you would come after a pregnant woman on Twitter. Uh, Look what you're doing. Oh, shit. Talk to I, shit. Uh, drip. drip. We gonna steal drip away. If you, you tired, no. I, 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 all no. the video. Oh. Cut his mic. No, you got to no. cut that mic right now. But like Cody Rhodes, um, again, I we see. We from the corner too, nigga. <laughs> I, just, I, just you, I just want you to know. Oh, shit. But again, I, I fucking see you, Cody Rhodes. I see what you're fucking doing. I forgot that Cody got... That's how you know Drip has been hanging out with us for too long. He is. That's- no. <laughs> no, I would I would have felt that way before, but like I, it was a couple of things. Like I saw that a year ago, a couple of days ago, AW posted a year ago, Teddy got ten lashes, Cody got ten lashes. I was like, why would you make that like a and monument? Like, a like during like, and February. What, and I think I said this on like one of my first few appearances, like that did nothing for him. That was just all ego driven of like, I'm gonna take these lashes and, and like show you how sharp like in the long run, that didn't do shit. No, it, it was nothing. And then, and then, like, <laughs> I just had to do that. Peace to Clay Davis. I forget my man's <laughs> real name. Oh man. Peace to Clay Davis. So that's funny. Thank hey, you, Drip. Really quick, really quick. Um, the first time I heard of the porn, the corner podcast was on the Combat Jack show. Um, everything moving black hip hop comes from that man. Facts. Before we get out of here, tell us um, a little bit of what y'all got from him. Um, not necessarily even directly, but to be black and in a podcast space. Well, I, I can speak directly, man. Like I, I met Jack when I worked at BET in 2010. And me and Jack have been close for a while. And um, I told, I remember I had a conversation with Jack when, when I left BET and I said, I'm kind of done with this rap shit because it just got me jaded in New York. And Jack told me, he was just like, you can't leave. You got to do this for the culture. And you know, that's what Jack always says. Mm-hmm. And I was like, man, so I started writing for The Source. Um, I, started, I wrote for The Source for a while and Jack always stayed on my head and was just like, look, whatever you do, take this shit with you. And for years, Jack told me, you need to start a combat sports podcast because there ain't nobody that look like you in this space that speak our language. And I started to think about this shit. And I was like, nah, Jack, don't nobody want to hear what the fuck I got to say. And he was like, you, you, he gave me so much shit about not believing in myself until he cornered me one day. And I was, I met Kel at a, we was at a fight and they put all the black people in the back row of the UFC fight. And Mm. I was like, oh, this sounds like a podcast. Lo and behold, Jack had called me. He was like, you ready to do this shit yet? He did not know what had just happened. Hmm. And I, he was like, you know, let talk to Chris Morrow and let's get this shit popping. Hmm. And uh, so Jack always had believed in me, man. Like Jack, hmm. anybody who knows Jack know that, that Jack was never about self. Jack was about seeing the culture flourish in multiple spaces. And that's what he gave me shit about. He's like, if you lead this hip hop shit and you go to this boxer shit, Take that hip hop shit to boxing, and then make sure that you bring these worlds together for the culture. Facts, and mm-hmm. that's kind of what we did. So it's like my like Jack's passing was like it hit me hard because like that dude meant the world to me, man. And, and to see a dude like that, there aren't too many people that are that selfless in this space. That don't they're so comfortable, mm-hmm. they're so good at what they do that they have no like they no apprehensions for putting somebody else on because they're like my spot's secure. So <laughs> what does it hurt me to help you? Facts. So Jack, Jack put me on and was like, yo, I'm going to get you on the Combat Jacks the podcast and make sure we launch this thing right. And that was it, man. That was it. Jack, like, rest in peace, Combat Jack. He's one of the greatest people this industry would ever know. Even mm. before that goddamn podcast. The man was just incredible. Facts. Big yeah, facts. There's, there's no podcasting today to the levels it is without him. Right. There, exactly. there, there isn't. There's no podcasting deals. There's no networks. There's no money in this without without that man. He saw it before anyone saw it, mm-hmm. and to be to be there first is is something. And he just wanted to do it to tell his stories. Mm-hmm. Like I, I remember that he was like, "Yo, I just want to get with other people in the industry and tell my stories from mm-hmm. behind the scenes." Before you saw there was money. Before there's a Joe Button Spotify Patreon deal. Before any of this. Before there's a million new podcasts. 
it was combat jack mm -hmm. and uh you know it's it's crazy because people were like yo joe rogan had a podcast forever it's like yeah but we couldn't have podcasts right they're, mm -hmm. they're like we no one like us looked in the space right. and be like yo we can have a podcast i was hustling to get on radio i was like yo i gotta get on sports radio <laughs> like that's where i'm gonna get my money if someone's gonna give me a job for right. sports radio what like no combat jack and the combat jack show loudspeakers network shout out everyone there they made stars mm -hmm. they showed that like yo listen radio is not gonna put us on Mm -hmm. We're going to put ourselves on and we're going to do podcasts because we talk better than anyone. Nice. And then people started paying podcasts. There's more money in podcasts than radio now. And Jack started that. Mm -hmm. He crushed mm -hmm. that whole medium. Right. Radio people are doing podcasts for money. So <laughs> he changed the game. Facts. And he, he made it cool. Joe Rogan was around for eight years before this. Why was a podcast mm -hmm. popping? Facts. Because we did it. We made it popping. We made it money. We made it pop culture. Mm -hmm. That's why they're giving out deals. Jack did that. So his legacy is forever. Legacy. Yes, that's the word. That is the word. Peace to Jack, as always. Peace as always. Jack. Jack was the first motherfucker that had me listening to motherfucking podcasts. Like, motherfuckers was waiting to see New York undercover and shit. Hey, we... <laughs> I was waiting to hear the new combat. I didn't know who half of these motherfuckers was. Motherfucker, right. um, uh, feminine Jones, feminista Jones. I'm like, who the fuck is that? <laughs> Bong, I'm on it. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Tax Stone. Like Tax Stone, yeah. Tax a star, man. Like, off of two episodes. What? It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. Legendary. Definitely some legendary shit. Um, before we get out of here, we always have to, uh, again, give some flowers to some pro wrestlers who are out there. So if we'll start off with the Corner Podcast. Cal, Andreas, do you guys have a black wrestler of the week? And if so, who is that? Cal, you go first. Who's your black wrestler? For oh, my, my back black wrestler of the week is my black wrestler always lately, and that's Chris Bay. Shout out to Chris. Killing it in Impact. He did our first wrestling with stereotype show when we were hustling to get it going. Like, and I remember going to Gray. I was like, "Yo, this kid is just a local champion. We need him on. He is the future of pro wrestling." The Dre was like, "Word." I was like, "He was like, all right, let's do it." And Chris, now a couple of years later, he's one of the best in the biz. He is going to be this generation, Shawn Michaels. And when I say Ooh. like, stop, it doesn't matter. <laughs> like he's. He's going to make it to the point where it's like, yo, he's black, and it doesn't matter that he's black. You forget the whole shit. He'll be one of the best wrestlers ever. That's Chris Bay. Like, So shout out to him. He's my black wrestler always. Fuck it. Hey, yo, real quick, all you wrestling podcast niggas, man, all you wrestling podcast niggas neglected to mention the Willie Mac Chris Bay beef. It was one of the best feuds of 2020. And if y'all niggas ain't mentioned that beef, man, y'all niggas was bugging out there and talking to all you white. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, you don't have. <laughs> I'm drinking that. You, you yeah, don't have that's the dog. Snoop talking. That's it's Snoop February. Talking. You got it. It's yeah. February. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, mine's going to go out to my brother, Big E. And the reason why is because because uh, I'll break this news here. Me and E got some cooking that y'all about to see in the next week or two. Hey. Um, it's it's uh it's uh something we've been working on and you and you've seen it, you just didn't know what it was. And I'll leave it at oh. that. You have definitely seen it, you just didn't know what it was. So in the next couple of weeks, you'll know what it is. But that's my that's my brother, uh, and shout out to him. That's my black wrestler of the week. Hey Dre, hey Dre, leave leave the dry rating to eat. eat. <laughs> No gyrate. <laughs> no, I ain't gonna do that. That's down for the podcast. There's no gyrate. Oh, I can't do that. No, that's your, your man's Greg does that. Yes, he they does. Had, <laughs> they had a whole t-shirt. That's a whole t-shirt. Look, Look, Look at his face. Look at his face. Nah. Real stat, real stat guys don't gyrate. <laughs> That's my man. Put that out and put that in the Discord right now. <laughs> my son, my son, my son face was like <laughs> nah. the audacity. No, nah. do it, so I ain't gonna do it. <laughs> Shit. Nah, but uh, fam, math trip. Who y'all black rasses of the week? 
Hey, man, I'm going to go ahead and give, give uh, Black Rash slurs, I'm sorry, of the week. I'm cheating, but to the Yims, man. Shout out to them niggas for getting engaged. Hmm. The Yims. <laughs> that, 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 wait, that did happen. It's a good there, was a, there was a – uh, Dre, do uh, – Drip, do me a favor. Do me a favor, Drip. Can you look up the rapper Tom McDonald? Oh no! Oh no! 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 Because I have to mention it. I, I Keith <laughs> Keith Lee tweeted. Yeah, it was Let me Keith. find the tweet. He Keith. said, "I don't know why this has been such a question lately. My taste in hip hop specifically, but I shall offer an idea." Talks about loving a bunch of genres, and then he said, "The first person he mentioned." In terms of hip hop, he said he's a big fan of Tom McDonald. Then he <laughs> mentions Immortal Technique, J. Cole, and Dax. It's I didn't know who horrible. God. I didn't know who Tom McDonald was though. And then it sounds like he was an incel rapper or something. That's yeah. what they were saying. Nor Nor I mean, Cal. What? When your number two is Immortal Technique, my nigga. No, 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 no disrespect, Immortal I, Technique. I, I, you already I know. know you somewhere yeah. washing your fatigues and <laughs> up the Tims, my nigga. This guy looks like a fucking nightmare. Shit. Wait, wait, g- give me some Tom McDonald song titles. Uh, my is that, well, well, is that first Michael of all. McDonald's? Son, yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm out of here. I'm getting out of here. Nope, I'm gone. Someone says something about all lives matter. He's a white guy. No, I don't he's really. Know a, he's from he's from Vancouver, British Columbia, so he's Canadian. Uh-oh. So, uh, Nardwar is that Nardwar? <laughs> <rapping It's alien? laughs> Nardwar the rapper. He has a song, obviously titled "White Boy," because when you're rap, when you're white and rap, you gotta play through the obvious. I mean, right. Right. Well, and maybe he was talking about uh, smoking joints instead of blunts. That's true. Uh, he's also got singles "I Don't Care," which I mean, Damn. I care. white right white trash sellout, best rapper ever, cancer angels, fake woke. Um, which Pretty debuted okay. at number nine, 96 Yo, on the Billboard Hot 100. Great value Eminem first album. I was going to say, there, there, there's definitely a, a, my a picture black being formed. Rap, my yeah. black rest of the week. It's not Keith Lee. <laughs> it's definitely <laughs> not Keith Lee. Yes. I'm going to go with um, Leo Rush. Shout out to Leo Rush. Leo Rush did that double this champ. week. He yeah. did. The double champ. Would they say he's the first? Money weight. The first interpromotional double champion in MLW history after beating the Laredo Kid. Did he call yeah. himself the Money Weight? Is that his the Money thing? Weight? He needs to be. Yeah. He's looking like wealth. I mean, that's what it is. He has. Hey, close this shit down, Cap. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Wait. Drip, you got Drip, You got a black rats of the week. Yeah, I'm going to go with Wesley of MSK. Him and Nash Carter are basically me and Son of Mars' tethereds. So hey, get him out for making, get for making him the out Dusty Cup finals. And hopefully the whole is mine? The whole is mine. The whole is mine. <laughs> Gotta get that, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Uh, my, my black rass of the week is going to be too cool Scorpio primarily because you could see him wrestle at the say it loud pay-per-view it's now a pay-per-view event yes. like it was that. it was going down in Jacksonville the the 12th and the 13th by the time this podcast will be up before then so hopefully if, if you haven't already cop tickets and you're trying to COVID-19 safe be at a wrestling event, you know, check out that think it's say it loud dot event bright dot com. But they announced this week that for fifteen dollars you could watch it on pay per view. So uh yeah we'll check them out or go to F E W underscore survive on Instagram. Um if Scorpio you there, if you out there pull your mask up man. You know what I'm saying? Facts <laughs> for real. Take care of yourself. Now, yeah, I believe Scorpio is taking on uh JTG. I don't know if that's the main event, but it seems like it's the, it's the main event. It's 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 the big deal on there. Um, before we get out of here, Andreas Cal, please let the people know where they can find y'all and y'all podcast uh, out there on the internet. All right, make sure you guys check us out at Corner Podcast underscore on Twitter at Corner Club for Life on Instagram. Me at Cal Dansby, him at Andreas Hale on all platforms. Check out our other show, Wrestling with Stereotypes on AdFreeShows.com. Shout out to Conrad, the whole network over there. And make sure that you guys support this show and everything that's black. 
everything, everything, everything. Buy the merch. Make sure that we're here to stay. We appreciate everyone listening. We appreciate you guys for having us on, man. It was a blast. It's fun. I ain't got shit else to say, but peace. <laughs> <laughs> I need another drink. Facts. Facts. <sighs> Fan math trip. Where y'all at? Hey, man. Ill Fam790 your social media choice. But more importantly, at Where's Buffy. Every single weekend, man. Where's Buffy.com at Where's Buffy. And, um, you know, probably uh, laid up next to your auntie. <laughs> your uncle ain't acting right. With that potato salad at Mass Damon. <laughs> That's it. At That's Davis, it. aka Drip, on Twitter. Davis what Colton is- DC on Instagram. Kind of rude. What? what? Kind of rude. <laughs> he was here. He was on knees. Right? <laughs> I'm, I'm not doing. I'm not doing the. the he was. Oh, he you was fat out of shape. <laughs> Motor City <laughs> sweat hogs. <laughs> Minnesota <laughs> sweat hogs. Sweat hogs. Jesus. He's right. stuck in the matrix. Look at him. <laughs> we hear you. Yep, they call him the mad man. You know what I mean? Terrible. Big facts. Big facts. I'm at Cal on Twitter, at Black Rasslin on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. BlackRasslin.com is the website. And as always, you can find the Black Rasslin podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, wherever you get your podcast, we're there. Please subscribe to us, youtube.com slash C slash Black Rasslin. Uh, Because great shows like this and other insane conversations are up there as well. Um, We'll catch y'all next week. We didn't even talk about the uh, the NXT Takeover pay per view, and we're not going to. But you know, we'll probably talk. If you talk about that NXT on Valentine's Day, there's there's something else going on. Like I said, it wasn't even on my mind. Here you go. He ready for Finn Balor? We'll catch y'all next week. Get your lotion. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Hey yo, that's nasty.